a little tutorial on how to run your own Tekkit server, I guess. Okay, so you're going to have to go to this website, which will be in the link right here. Well, pretty much. All you need to do is click this, and it will download this file right here. You'll need um, this program that, I'll, that it'll hopefully bring up. There. It's called WinRAR. I guess that's what you call it. So this will basically be what what it'll come with. So I'm just gonna open my uh, servers that I have here. I'm just gonna create a new file just for. Okay, new folder. Stop lagging. Here, folder. Just call it test or something. I don't know. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll just create a folder or whatever. Something like this. Just take everything but those dot dot dot. Just take everything and drag it into that folder that you created. It shouldn't take long. It's only a few files. It might take like a few seconds, but that's pretty much it. See, now you have all your files. This is obviously not what a Minecraft server looks like. Because a Minecraft server is an exe file, kind of. Which is a uh, it's a program file, which is much easier. But the one you download is um, it's a dot rar I think. Yeah, it's a dot rar, which is not a program file. It's a file file. So when you're ready to do this, you'll just click launch dot bat. And oh no, a fail. Blah blah. This might occur. So what will happen? This is just because your computer might not have enough RAM, because this automatically assumes you have a whole bunch of it. So you're going to say edit, and you're going to change this to like, this is the maximum, X max is the maximum, so change it to 1000, 1000 M, or megabytes, and change the lowest, which is XMS, to 100 M, and don't change anything else. And then you'll save it. And then open it up again. It might take a little bit, but just let it do what it has to do. It'll just create a whole bunch of files because the tech server is huge. Just let it do what it has to do. If you stop it while it's loading the files, it will. When it's a print, it's it won't have your own And now you have a whole bunch of files. So you can do whatever you want. You can. You can uh, make your ops people. You can type in the names to make them off. You can use server properties just to name the world. What will come up as a uh, at the bo at the bottom, just letting people know what server you're running. And that's basically it. So just once you have all that done, you'll just like click double click this and uh, just let it do what it has to do. It'll it'll let you know what it has to do. Like, just let, it, once you've done it, do the prepare spawn area thing. And you can't just do this without anything, kind of. You're going to need to download LogMe and Hamachi. If you don't want, if you don't want to port forward, you can do download LogMe and Hamachi and add your friends. Tell them to download it, too. And, um, I'll basically have another tutorial on that later, but you can check that out if you want, but basically that's all so I hope this was helpful I guess okay see ya